four days. We have. Yeah, thank you so much. I've been sending him back and forth. Come back in an hour, come back in an hour. Keeps coming back. Oh, come back in another hour. I'm so glad we made it happen right at the end of the show, right when I'm about right. to leave for makeup for the red carpet oh for the God. Avian Awards. You do so much. Like, literally, I feel like you are the hardest working woman in porn. Like, Thank you. Sometimes it feels like that. No, <laughs> no, I do. I work hard. I do a lot. I, I mean, I, I I wear many hats and I love what I do, so I'm constantly busy. Yeah. Yeah. You're amazing. Like, I'm just like, you, what, won, what, 12 awards, Avian Awards last year, and you're nominated for 13 this year? Like, wow. So I took home 14 trophies last year. One, So 13 awards, one was an Avian Hall of Fame induction. That was so cute. She's just like, <laughs> I'm like hi, pretty girl. And then this year, my, me and my company are nominated for 18 no, uh, awards. So, wow. yeah, it's pretty surreal. It's amazing. I'm so honored. It's, and it's been so long, so many years of hard work. And, yes. and, and yes. may I say, watching you up and down the stage last year, you're so polished and you're so glamorous. And you're just like, yes, I'm the host, but I'm taking all the awards and I'm just so... <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I'm, I'm glad that you said that I did well because, as you probably heard, I was very sick before right. the awards. But so you can it tell? Good. You know, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I got acute laryngitis and lost my voice. I couldn't be on the show floor, so I was saving my voice until the last minute. And by the end of that show, I had nothing left. Oh my god! So, but it was amazing. 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 You did, you did yeah. <laughs> thank so you. So you've been. You wanted to. You knew that you wanted to do porn since you were 14 years yeah. old. Like, tell yeah. us about that. How did you know? Okay, so to give you a little bit of the backstory, I was, I mean, I've always been a very sexual person. Even as a, as a child, I was incredibly sexual. I was that kid at school, hiding in the back of the library, look, reading those books like, where did we come from? And looking at the cartoons of like female and male genitalia. I was just, just, I've always been fascinated by sex. Fascinated and terrified, I will add. Right. Fascinated and terrified. <laughs> So I've always I've always read about sex. I've always wanted to I've always wanted to know more about it and when I got to a certain age I wanted to explore my sexuality. And so I came out as bisexual very early on. I was attracted to everyone. I wouldn't even call myself I wouldn't even call myself bisexual now. I'd call myself maybe pansexual or whatever, sapiosexual. Right. I'm not. It's any gender, any sex, any any right. person. There's more adjectives now yes, than there were yes, before. <laughs> yes, but at the time, bisexual was the best box for me to place myself in. But what happened was being such a sexual teen um, and being out about liking girls that wasn't accepted back then. You know, now we have slut walk. Now we, you know, we're much more ex uh, accepting of the LGBT community. Like, kissing girls in the playground was not cool when I was doing it. So I was criticized in high school for my sexuality and no matter what I did, it was deemed inappropriate. So when I was having sex with men, too many men, I was deemed a slut. And when I was having sex with women, I was called a lesbian and in a, in a negative connotation. And so, you know, it that had an effect on me. You know, obviously sexuality is such an integral part of who I am as a being. And if society's rejecting my sexuality, it felt like they were rejecting me. And pornography was the first uh, space that I saw women being celebrated for expressing their sexuality. So I saw women having sex with multiple partners, varying genders, and, and, and everyone was celebrating that rather than criticizing it. So at 14, I was like, you know what? Those are my people. Right. That's where I need to be to really express and explore myself in, an, in a safe environment, in an environment with, with peers that are gonna support me. Yeah. Uh, and you're so brave. Like even like using your real name. name. Oh yeah. my god. Like well, it just like <laughs> taking that stand like hey, I'm going to be proud of doing porn and I'm yes. going to show everybody who I am because this is who I am. Yes. Well, I had a long time to think about it. Obviously, I didn't get in, into the industry until I was 18. Right. So I had I had those years. I had those years to contemplate. Is it what I want to do? Should I do it? And then thinking about, well, what do I want to... When I enter this industry, who do I want to be? What do I want to represent? And for me, like going into the industry was about expressing myself and being true to myself. So I thought, why would I want to... Why would I want to create a stage name when I don't want to be performing? I want to be really having sex, the sex that I want. So my name was, uh, using my real name was a, a political stamp, a uh, choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. So I think just seeing you during out the week, you, it seems like you have just as much like enjoyment on camera 
with talent as you have with the fans yeah. and everybody like yeah. that. Like, tell us, like, your experience with all the fans. Like, what's that? It's been incredible. I love meeting the fans. You know, without the fans, we couldn't do what we do. Right. You know, and I was once a fan. Yeah. That's how I got into the industry, right. watching porn, being like, look at these right. people loving their bodies, loving their sexuality. So I understand what it's like to be one of those people. And you know what? I came to conventions. I came oh, to, no way. yes, I did. I came to, I came to conventions as well. I don't know if anyone were like any of the big stars. Remember, like I came and I waited in line to meet people. Oh, wow. So I know what it's like. You know to what it's like to be a fan. I know. You know, you know, know in and out. It's so funny because now I'm fucking the people that I lined up to see. It's like so you were a fan that fucked your favorite porn star. Yeah. Okay, on the other end, have you ever fucked a fan since you've been a porn star? Well, you know, everyone's a fan once they fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I've had sex with three fans. No way. Yes, I have. How did that happen? What's the steps okay. that a fan needs to take to get to that level? One one fan I actually did meet on a convention, but that was the that was the negative one. That was the worst one. Oh. The other two were great. The okay. other two were with the fantastic. Other two. The other two, I don't want to like give people yeah, like too too much. <laughs> too much. Yeah, so I, I met I met one on webcam actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I met the other one uh, through a friend. So it was yeah, but but at, two out of three of those experiences were great, amazing. They're amazing, and everybody's a fan, so it doesn't matter either way. Yeah, right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So last question. This is this is opinion question. Yes. If you were a doggy style, what type of doggy style would you be? You want to give you some hints? So, you know, if you're, um, if you were a, you know, Labradoodle, you'd be very, you know, submissive. Oh. You, you'd well trained, oh. pit bull. You know, kind of hard, gonna leave some marks. Or, you know, a Shih Tzu doesn't clean before a butt play. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know. I don't know. This is such. This is like the toughest question I've ever been asked. What kind of? Well, help me. Help me try and think. Okay. So. I love to have like really intimate sex where I'm like I love as much skin on skin contact as possible. So is there a doggy style that would be like that would be like is there a is there a breed like that wants that wants to, what maybe I don't know that wants a lot of uh, tension. Well, it's not even attention. It's closeness. It's close. Your love language is physical touch. Type yes, yes, but like all over. Like not like let me like do reverse and like look hot. It's like I want to be on you. Oh, you know, like that yeah. kind of thing. So what what would that be? Oh man, that's I, I think that's that's just, every dog. That's every a, dog. <laughs> You're a every Angela Walk is an every, every dog. dog. <laughs> Very interesting That's question. Awesome. Thank you. You're Thank so you. attractive. Oh. I just have to, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank maybe you. this could be the first time I've ever fucked an interviewer. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think that might happen. Yeah, you have very beautiful yeah. eyes and you're very sexy. Appreciate it. Yeah. That. I knew I got the CET test for a reason. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. You're shooting content while you're oh, out yeah, here. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hi. So, where can I find your porn? Oh, you know, um, AngelaWhite.com. <laughs> Everybody go there right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you you so don't much. have any other questions? That's no, it. that's it. Is that where you want everybody to check you out? AngelaWhite.com? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. AngelaWhite.com. Thank you. This is Javi Mack with Adult DVD Talk.